all of Loop Cloud's features can be used for your own sample collection, as well as samples in the store. So it's a good idea to import your own personal library into Loop Cloud to take advantage of the sample management and cloud storage, and also editing and music making benefits that it provides. Any samples you add into Loop Cloud will appear in your library, accessed at any point via the tab. Adding samples can be done in a number of ways, either using the Add Samples buttons, after which you navigate to any files or folders on your computer and then confirm it, or you can simply drag them into the library area and then confirm to add. I'm dragging in the library for Battery 4, so I can use Loop Cloud's features with that. So it's an excellent way of bringing all of the samples on your computer together into one system. When you add samples to the library, they just get tagged up and organized, not copied or moved anywhere. Although you do have the option of copying them to Loop Cloud's cloud storage if you choose to, as a backup or to free up some hard drive space. Once added, you can see the folder looks a little different, being blue and with this user symbol. And that's to indicate that this is a local folder on the computer rather than in the cloud like all the others here. And looking inside now, you can see that all of the samples have been tagged up accordingly. And the way this is done now has been updated in Loop Cloud 6, where the AI now analyzes the sample's sonic characteristics. So if a sample has a more obscure name, say, like some of these wooden ones here, Loop Cloud tags them up according to the sounds they're most similar to, which can be a great time saver. Of course, the tags for any samples can be adjusted as you like, though which is done in the Tag Editor, accessed with the Pencil button in the sidebar. This shows the current tags at the top, so I can change a particular sample by first selecting it, and then removing any tags that aren't necessary, say. Whilst adding tags is done by typing into the field above, and then choosing any tags when they pop up. Or alternatively, by going through the different tags below, and then choosing Set on any to add them. And you can do this to groups of samples by selecting them first by either shift clicking or command or control clicking. Or even entire folders by selecting them and then adding tags in the same way, which adds tags to all samples in that folder. Furthermore, you can also create your own tags to add even more customized options for finding sounds within Loop Cloud. For instance, I could create a metal tag now by right-clicking on the Instruments folder in the Tag Manager and choosing Create Tag, and then typing Metal, after which you can see the new tag in the Instruments section, and I can then add it to any samples or groups of samples in exactly the same way. And this is also great for tagging up your whole personal library. With a custom tag like My Samples, for instance, which I'm putting in the Formats category, which I can then set to the folders of any sounds in my library to tag them up as my own samples. After which I can search for any of them by adding that tag to the search field. Finally, Right-clicking on any folders in your library and then going to the File option brings up some useful things like, for instance, renaming, so they're different from the names of the folders on your computer. This only changes them in Loop Cloud, not anywhere else. And you can remove folders from the library with this menu too.